Women are people. I know it's hard for you to deal with right now, but we need to talk about it right now because if we don't talk about it now, it's only going to get worse. And you won't have a very good quality of life if you don't learn to admit that women are human beings who deserve to make the same amount of money for doing the same jobs that you do. Um, it's a really difficult conversation. You're going to have to have it with a lot of people. You're, you're going to have to learn to understand that your mother is a human being, your aunt is a human being, and oh, beyond that, that all of your girlfriends your entire life have been human beings. So are all the girls at your school, and so are all the chicks in the porno mags that you read. It's going to be a very difficult procedure. I know that not all men do horrible things, but if you are the kind of man who says not all men do horrible things, when a woman says that a man has sexually or physically abused her, you probably are the kind of man who does. And you need help. I know that you have been very nice to girls and they did not have sex with you. That can be the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you have all of the right habits and all of the right intentions. You do all the right things and things just don't work out in your favor. I, believe me, I know. There have been a number of times when I thought I got a job based on my actual merits, but it turned out that the boss only wanted to have sex with me and he grabbed my ass in front of all of the other employees to show me. I know that you don't appreciate it when a woman crosses the street to get away from you as if you are some kind of horrible criminal, any more than we appreciate horrible criminals following us down the street on an almost nightly basis screaming, hey baby, and I'd love to bend you over that car and shove my bleep in your bleep. I know it's horribly traumatic to find out that a woman doesn't want to have sex with you after you've been hanging out with her for a whole couple of weeks. Almost as traumatizing as it is when someone sends you a dick pic after you've been talking to him for 37 seconds. It's hard not to be allowed to cry because of the standards that have been set for men, and not to be allowed to be emotional because of the standards that have been set for men. If only there were a movement that believed in equality amongst the sexes so that you would be allowed to express yourself. I also understand that the word feminism is offensive to you because it contains women. Just like the workplace is offensive to you because it contains women, and the world is offensive to you because it contains women. I know that you think that women in the workplace have contributed to a downgrading of society because women are now in the workplace and so people aren't making as much money, but it's simply not true. We have a number of treatment options and jobs available that weren't available back when our parents were young. There are much better outcomes for employment than there have ever been in the past. In fact, we're creating jobs every day that didn't exist years ago. So don't worry, you will survive. And if you're worried about me surviving, that's so kind of you, but please don't. I've survived rape, attempted murder, woman abuse, threats. I know what you're thinking. It can't be that bad. Someone has to be exaggerating. After all, the only life experience that exists is mine. Well, unfortunately, that's not true. If you keep doing what you're doing, your behavior will become completely terminal for your relationships and your dick. So I highly suggest that you get out of the habit now of believing that feminism is cancer. After all, many leading cancer researchers are women and Feminism is not a tumor that grows within your body and slowly takes you over. If it were, it would slowly teach you how to be a better person who is more inclusive and more loving of other human beings.